Hello everyone, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux, which is a hacking operating system. And we're going to be doing that through a virtual machine, so let's get straight into it. Um, <clears throat> first we're going to install our virtual machine manager. Um, we can either use VMware or VirtualBox. Now for paid stuff, VMware is probably better, um, but for free stuff we're going to go with VirtualBox because um, their free stuff is very good. So we're going to go to VirtualBox, download and click that top link and since i am downloading this on a windows machine my host computer we're gonna go to windows hosts and just install that and we're gonna run that uh pop up something will come up just click yes um next next if you want to change the um install installation location you can do that but we're gonna go with the defaults next 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 <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna click finish and that will be installed right here. Um, now we're gonna go install Kali Linux, Kali uh, download. Uh, get Kali is the one we want. And we're gonna go to installer images and we're just gonna click this um, download button right here and save it. Don't need the torrent, just click that download and it'll get installing for us. It is about four gigabytes large, so it may take some time. All right, so now that our Kali Linux disk image has been installed, um, <coughs> we're gonna click new, and we're gonna name it whatever you want. You can call it Kali Linux VM, whatever you want. I'm gonna call this demo, because it's just my demo for the YouTube. Um, but you're gonna go ahead and call it whatever you want, and you're gonna head over to ISO image and click your installed um, disk image file. Next, and for memory, <laughs> this is your RAM. You're gonna want a good bit, of, uh, definitely over half into the green. Um, don't need to get into the yellow or red because then that may cause problems on your host machine. Um, and processors, again, probably not into the red, but pretty close to it. Um, the more processors, the more RAM you have, uh, the better your virtual machine is gonna run. Disk size, this is how large um, <coughs> of, of, of stores you have on your virtual machine. Um, you don't want to go under 25 for this, under 25 gigabytes, I would say. Um, if you're going to be using this long term, I would add more, um, you know, up to like up to 60. Um, for the demo, I'm just going to use 25. But um, yeah, we're going to click next. D don't go under 25. Finish. And there it is. Now, when we start this, if you get an error saying like virtualization error, you need to enable virtualization in BIOS. If you don't know how to get to BIOS, um, look up a YouTube video on it or just Google it. Um, you need to turn off your computer, turn it back on while um, spamming a, um, your specific BIOS key. This could be F9, F10, F12 or escape. Um, and then that'll boot you into BIOS while your computer's starting up and go to advanced and then you should see an option saying like virtualization, um, just enable that. So I already have mine set up, so I'm gonna click start. And for the first time, we're gonna have to go through the setup for Kali. So I'm gonna press, uh, oh, no, don't, just wanna full screen this. Okay, so we're gonna use the graphical it's installation. <clears throat> and it's gonna take a while. There we go. So we're gonna click enter English, enter United States, enter American English. Um, if you wanna, you can, it's your preference, uh, whatever language you wanna use for Cali, go ahead and click that. All right, so now we need to add a host name. Cali default is fine, domain name, um, we don't need that, unless you're setting up a whole network, but we're just gonna skip it. And we need a username. So I'm just gonna enter Pebble. Um, you can set this to whatever you'd like. Continue. And your username, yep. Uh, password. Enter a strong password. Cool. Continue. I am in Eastern Time. Set this to whatever time zone you are. And it's going to go ahead and start the installation. Now, this is going to take a little bit, so I'll see you when that's done. Oh, click uh, use entire disk. Next, next, next and finish and yes apply those changes 
There we go. So when you get to this screen, you're just gonna click continue, use the default options. All right, something else I'd like to add is that <clears throat> you can click on your machine and go to settings. And this is where, uh, if you wanna change anything, you can. Um, how much RAM, uh, how, many, how many processor cores you're using or whatever, um, and etc. cetera. Shared, shared for folders, if you wanna share a folder to your virtual machine or your host machine. Um, etc etc and through uh, devices you can do this as well um, share clipboard or drag and drop files um, all that good stuff all right so we're gonna click yes install that and um, we're just gonna do that default location so now that it's installed all we need to do is press continue and it will reboot the Kali VM and it should be all nice and dandy We go. Uh, Kali Linux. And we're going to enter our username and password that we set. And we're golden. There we go. <coughs> so, this is beautiful Kali Linux. Click this button for the terminal. Um, click this for browser Firefox or whatever. I'll go over some basic commands if you don't know Linux. Um, CD is a change directory. Or let's start with LS. LS or dir um, if you're used to PowerShell um, or command prompt. Um, LS is to um, list all your files and folders. Um, folders are just more of a Windows term in Linux. We call them directories. Um, so ls will list all files and directories within your current working directory if you do pwd print working directory this will show what path we're in right now um so say i want to go into my downloads directory um <clears throat> you can see we have our downloads um we'll cd or change directory into downloads um if you press tab it'll autocomplete um and now i don't have anything in there but of course if i were to say Download something like funny cat PNG. This guy. Alright, so we'll just save this guy. Say funny cat JPEG. Um, and now if we um, ls again, we'll see our funny cat inside of this downloads folder. Um, so if you do cd dot dot, it'll go back a directory. Um, so um, PWD, we're in our home. Pebble and we choose CD into downloads, PWD. See, now we're in this current path with the downloads. Um, so if you do CD slash, this is the root directory, um, PWD. See, it's just the slash. This is as, fur, as far back as you can go. Um, if you press control L, as I did there, it'll clear the screen. Um, so this is all of the um, directories in the root one. Um, <coughs> Home is where you're going to find all your users and stuff. Um, CD Pebble, again, and we're back to our home thing. Um, this tilde is is the home directory of our user. So um, if we ever want to go to that, we can just CD and then shift, press that little tilde key on your keyboard, and it'll bring us to there. Um, <clears throat> so that's that. Um, temporary directory um, optional is where you can install uh, your oh did not mean to do that there um, <clears throat> optional is your uh, optional tools that you'd want to install um, but yeah mount is if you want to have mounted folders um, you, you won't need to worry about most of that stuff just your home directory um, let's talk about making directories so if I make dir that'll do make a directory um, let's do try hack me, which is a hacking platform that we will be using in later videos. Now, if I LS, you see, we have this try hack me folder and we'll change into that directory. Um, uh, let's touch, this will make a file. So let's touch, um, secret text. So now if we LS, we see that we have the secret text 
inside of this directory. If I want to <coughs> put anything in that file, um, you can use a tool called Nano or Vim. Uh, I like Nano; it's the best, it's the most user-friendly. Um, secret dot secret dot text, and we'll just type in this is a secret message. All right, Control X to exit, uh, Y to save it, and enter um, that secret dot text name. All right, so now if I do cat, which is to concatenate secret.txt, uh, we can see our message. Um, it'll just write out any any uh, file we have. So um, those are some basic Linux commands. Um, <clears throat> if we want to remove something, we'll do the rm secret.txt, and now if we ls, it's gone. Um, or if you want to remove a directory, um, rmdir, remove dir directory, try hack me, ls, it's gone. All right. So that's basically um, how to work around the terminal. Uh, we also have a GUI, um, but uh, we work in the terminals. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one where we will do some hands-on hacking. See you later.